Before the tackles, the winning touchdowns, and victories, football players challenge themselves and push boundaries in order to become successful in the sport. The continuous hard hits they take, game after game, sometimes sacrifice injuries on their body. But after all, this is their job. It's what they get paid to do, and they love doing it. But there's someone part of the Hamilton Tiger Cats organization who volunteers his time because it's what he loves to do. A loyal Hamiltonian, at the age of 12, Dylan Atak started to visit the stadium on his bicycle. Soon after, he was asked to become an assistant equipment manager and has never looked back. Now 26, he's often considered the rock of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Born with autism, one may consider Dylan's life to incorporate many obstacles. However, it seems to be entirely the opposite. There's definitely challenges, but I mean, he, like, he cooperates like anyone else would at practice and handles all the challenges and all the physical and mental aspects of it, so. Dylan's loyalty, generosity, and dedication to his team are just some of the qualities that have made him stand out amongst the Tiger Cat staff and throughout the entire CFL. I mean, he helped me get started when I first got here. I really had no clue what, uh, what most of the stuff was associated with the job. Um, so he kind of helped me get acquainted to everyone. It's clear that without Dylan and the other team operations staff, the Tiger Cats organization could not operate. Well, some of the things I do, I, uh, I help out practices by catching footballs and uh, send up the field before the players get here, like set up the field equipment. Um, wash, um, and then I wash the laundry for them. Um, we wash the laundry after the practices. On um, game days, um, I help out the visiting teams, making sure that they go on good uh, to go on game day, making sure how the waters are filled up. His ability to cheer up a teammate when they're having a bad day and to come in every day with a smile simply makes him one of a kind. And it doesn't stop there. Dylan has represented the Hamilton Tiger Cats amongst some powerful people, including Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne, Dalton McGinty, and most recently, he had the honor of meeting Prime Minister Stephen Harper and provided him with a signed Tiger Cats game ball. His kindness exceeds the gridiron when he treats his teammates at the local movie theater he works at. Sometimes, like, I'll, I'll go to a movie maybe with Simone Lawrence or maybe Andy Cam Hughes because I look at the movie theater and bring the popcorn sometimes, so they always want me to take me to a movie, so. For many, staying at work until 4 a.m. some days would be a deal breaker. But for Dylan, that's just part of the job. It's clear that his mindset when he comes into work every day is what sets him apart. Yeah, he's irreplaceable because, I mean, uh... I don't think they could find a volunteer who does as much as Dylan does without any complaints. He's probably the hardest worker in the Thai Cats organization, um, which is awesome that I get to work with him. Uh, you know, he does a great job at practice, at games, and uh, you know, everyone just loves him. I've just got to wake up every morning and be encouraged, ready to go. It sounds easy enough, right? But having that outlook on life every day is truly inspirational. Yes, there are definitely challenges for Dylan, but there are challenges for all of us as well. Always be have a positive mindset. Never have a negative mindset. Be positive. It's just like my brother from another mother. <laughs> I love you. Love you too, boy. <laughs> he may not be assigned a number but he is definitely a huge part of this team.